Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Review. I am Adele Kombolande, and today, March 15th, year 2024, the topic of our Open Heaven is The More, The Merrier. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you and we give you the glory for today. We exalt you, honor you, and appreciate you for the privilege to be alive. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we go into your word, Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, reveal your truth to us through your word in the name of Jesus. And both the hearer and the speaker, Father, grant us the grace to do your word and to give your word in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. So I open our books today. Is talking about the more the merrier, and our memory verse is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30. And it says, How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousands to flight, except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shot them up? I'll take it again. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousands to flight, except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shot them up? And a Bible passage is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, from verse 9 to verse 12. I'll be reading from the King James Version of the Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. It says, verse 9 says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fail, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have it. But how can one, one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, Two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Let us go into our open heavens as written by our Father in the Lord. The more we are in our local assemblies, the merrier our services will be. If we are not many, how can we make a joyful noise? The more we are, the louder the noise we can make. And the merrier it will be to praise God together. Let me tell you what I believe to be the origin of clapping. One day, the fingers woke up and heard the birds singing. And they said, Oh God, we also want to praise you. They tried to make a sound individually, but no sound came. Suddenly, they said, If two of us should cooperate, Maybe we can produce some sound. So one finger cooperated with another finger, and they discovered that there was a little snapping sound. They shook it further, and one finger cooperated with the other palm. They made a better sound, and then another finger decided to join in. The sound improved, and yet another finger joined in. Before long, all the fingers were jamming together, in praise, making a joyful noise to the Lord. In the same token, the more we are, the greater our impact will be in the world. When we are many, the impact we will make cannot be ignored because it will be significant. When 10 people come together against a policy of the government, the government can easily ignore them. However, when 10,000 people come together to speak against the same policy, it will be very difficult for the government to ignore them. The government's powers, the governing powers in the environment where your local assembly is situated will take you more seriously when you are many. As a result, your local assembly can influence the culture and the policies in that environment. When we are many, Projects become easier to accomplish. When 10 people come together to do something, they will have to put in a lot of effort and personal resources to get it done. However, 
if 100 people come together to do the same thing, they obviously will need less individual efforts and personal resources to get that thing done. Therefore, projects are done faster and easier when we are many. Beloved, if truly God is your father, you should you should be committed to the expansion of his kingdom. Preach the gospel anywhere you find yourself and set a personal target to win at least one soul to Christ per day. If you cannot go to the mission field, support missionaries with your prayers and your personal resources. The more Christians we have around the world, the greater her impact will be. Hallelujah. So in today's Open Heaven, titled The More The Merrier, our Father and the Lord is trying to talk to us about the impact we will make as Christians if we are more. If we have a larger community of believers, our Father and the Lord is encouraging us and talking about how much impact we will make with a larger population. So our Father and the Lord started talking about the cooperation between the hands when clapping was about to be started. So from his own imagination, he imagined that the hands were communicating with each other and in the process of communicating that they wanted to clap and sing like the birds, making noise like the birds are doing. So one hand joined two hands and they tapped each other to make noise. Then from there to the two palms joined each other and they made joyful noise unto the Lord. Now, our Father and the Lord is now saying that how great our impact will be in the world depends on how well or how much we are as Christians. So if we are many, then we can make more impact. So if you have a church in, let's say, a local government, and the church is a small church, they may not make an impact as much as a church that is bigger. A bigger church may likely have more power, more authority in that, let's say, local government now that we use in Nigeria, or a district, or a city, even a town. But when you are large, when you have a large population, I stay in a town where we have a church that is a very large church. Anytime there is a program in the church, everybody in this locality will know that something is happening because the road will be jam-packed, will have a lot of people coming in and going out, and thereby you, yes, there will be traffic and everybody will be wondering what's happening today. Why do we have so much traffic? And so, when the moment you hear a ah, so church is having a program, oh, you just see people say, oh, no wonder. So that is how much impact the church can have, even in the affairs of the environment. How much more if the church is larger and spiritually in agreement with each other, then the church can make a better impact spiritually in that locality. So our Father and the Lord is encouraging us today to make it our vision. It is not supposed to be the vision of the church, especially for RCCG members that we have vision 2032 currently. But then, people that are not even RCCG members, that your church has probably not said, okay, we want to make so, uh, win so, so, so souls by this year. But it is still our corporate responsibility and our personal responsibility as Christians that we should preach to people, that we should win more souls to Christ. Because the more the merrier. I've been in a church, a small church before, where we are not plenty. And there is a difference between being in a small church and being in a bigger church. Many times the things that you can even achieve in a bigger church is a little bit difficult in a small church depending on the capacity of the members too but even at that the cooperation that is needed the time the energy and the ability to relate and do some other things when you have a bigger church it is easier and it can be merrier so today we want to encourage ourselves if you cannot go to mission field Support missionaries. Support missionaries. You can adopt a missionary. 
That's one thing you can do. Do you know somebody who is on the mission field? Adopt a missionary. Even if you don't, you cannot go. You can just adopt a missionary and see, okay, this particular missionary doing the work of God. Personally, you can give them food. You can give money. You can just find a way to make sure your resources go into the mission work. And wherever you are working that is making you busy, there are still souls to be won one day. You have colleagues, you have friends in your place of work. You can still win their souls for Christ. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Our Bible in one year is taken from Judges chapter 9 and 10. Then our hymn for today is, To the work, to the work, we are servants of God. And the action point is make it a point of duty to preach the gospel to at least one person every day. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus and will give us the grace and the resilience to do the work in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share and comment on today's podcast. God bless you.